One of the most creative sword fighting VR games has just been released on MetaQuest and SteamVR. Broken Edge is the ultimate sword dueling game with unique gameplay and mechanics. At the start of the game, you get to choose one of five classes of sword fighters. Duelist, Knight, Samurai, Barbarian, and Persian. There's also a secret sixth class called Tyrant that you will unlock later. Each of them have unique styles, abilities, and you'll need to apply different strategies. But let's talk about the most basic game mechanics first and how the game actually works. When you're entering the duel, you need to hit the opponent's sword with your sword. That's understandable, right? But here's where things get interesting. Your sword and your opponent's sword will be cut in the places of impact of your swords. That's where the name of the game Broken Edge comes from. Isn't that cool? So the main strategy here is to cut your opponent's sword as close to his handle as you can, but also the furthest you can from your own sword's handle. And this can get pretty tricky because the swords keep moving around rather fast during the duel. Every time you cut your opponent's sword, his sword energy goes down and then it reaches the bottom and that's when the sword will be broken and this is where you're ready to strike straight into his heart and win. Essentially, you need to pierce your opponent's heart to win. So once the energy of your opponent's swords has run out, the sword will not be regrowing and it will be easier for you to pierce his heart. This is actually quite simple base gameplay mechanics which makes it very easy for you to get into the game, but it gets so much more complicated, taking into account the individual differences of each class of sword fighters. But before I get into what makes Broken Edge really interesting, I want to tell you about another very cool upcoming VR title that you will love if you're into social VR games. There's one really cool upcoming VR experience that I want to talk about called Friend Box, which is very intriguing for anyone who's interested in meeting new people and making new friends in VR. Friend Box is a highly customizable social VR VR app that will allow you to express yourself in a way that you want to be seen and meet new people by being matched with various players across the globe. First, you will create your own avatar and then you will design your world that matches your personality or you can go completely nuts with it. The game also has lots of unlockables to choose from to find some unique items to decorate your world with. And when you get matched with a new player, you will get to visit each other's worlds if you give each other permissions to do so, of course, and even trade some items. There are also different VR activities in the game and you can filter your potential matches by their language, age and hobbies. I thought this app was a cool combination of Sims, VR Chat and Omegle. As cool as this idea is, they can bring this project to life without your help and you get a chance to contribute by supporting their Kickstarter. Backers will get unique limited edition rewards such as this cute pet panda that you won't get otherwise. I like this project because it's a creative way to meet new people in a safe environment because people won't be able to enter your world until you allow them to do so, and it's a cool way to express your personality in VR. It even supports crossplay with PCs, so you'll be able to meet people even if they don't have a VR headset. If you check their Kickstarter page, you'll find all their stretch goals, such as 2x2 two two modes, daily quests, contests, and more, so the developers are full of ideas. And if you want to support them and bring Friendbox to life, follow the Kickstarter link below, read more about their idea, and help them make Friendbox a reality. And now back to Broken Edge. It is not enough to just swing your sword around trying to cut your enemy's sword. You need to generate your sword's energy to inflict maximum damage by keeping your sword alive. You keep your sword alive by doing very specific movements with your swords and depending on your class these movements are different. For example, if you're playing as a duelist, you need to keep your sword pointed at your enemy at all times. If you're playing as a Persian, you need to constantly swing your sword around your body Body using your wrists and if you're playing as a barbarian you need to always hold your sword with both hands and swing it slowly no fast movements and so on for each of the classes so depending on whom you choose to play as you need to remember the fighting style for this class and things get even more complicated from here because there are also special powers so far in this game each class has three special powers the edge breaker the ward and the second wind by casting the edge breaker you get to deal more damage to your opponent for a limited time. The ward is basically a shield that protects you from the damage for a short time. And the second wind allows you to regrow your sword fully in the middle of a round, even if your energy is completely depleted. All three are very useful during the duel, but each of these special powers are casted by performing certain movement sequences with your swords. And yes, you guessed it, these movements are different for every class, and you need to memorize them in order to be able to perform them successfully during 
the duel. I tested all six classes for this video, but starting with the third class, my head started spinning and I would forget all the movements, which is expected. I mean, there are so many of them. This game reminded me of playing Mortal Kombat, where the game is basically built for you to pick one or two favorite characters and master their fight combinations, rather than jump from fighter to fighter. Same here, after you start playing and trying different classes, you will find yourself gravitating to one or two classes depending on your preferred style, and then you will start mastering the special powers and become the best duelist. In my case, my personal favorite classes are Persian and Barbarian. Persian because her signature move to keep her swords alive are swinging them in all directions and rotating them using their wrists, which I found to be helpful for confusing the enemy as I can move the swords in any direction at any time, making it harder for my opponent to cut my swords. But Barbarian, in my opinion, almost has an unfair advantage because of this huge sword that he has. It's so long that in most cases I can reach my opponent before they can reach me. And I can either cut their swords or even pierce their heart right away. My shortest duels and victories were done exactly when I was playing as a barbarian, because he's a real beast. And one more class that you can unlock is called the Tyrant, and this guy looks like a Sauron from Lord of the Rings, and he must be just as strong. You unlock him by defeating the Tyrant in the solo mode, which is not an easy task after many, many, many tries. I finally managed to defeat him using my Persian class and I definitely recommend unlocking him because that power is just ridiculous. He's so strong that with a little bit of practice of his special powers you will be absolutely unbeatable. I have been playing this game for several days and I must say that after a little while it does get repetitive simply because there aren't that many classes to choose from. In a couple of hours you will be able to master your class and learn the strategies of other classes classes to quickly defeat them. The real fun comes when playing in multiplayer mode with your friends, but I also hope that the devs will be introducing many more classes to the game, because this unique gameplay mechanics allows for so many more types of fighters, special abilities, basically making this game even more challenging. And I definitely would like to see this game grow and expand. It has a huge potential and a very reasonable price. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game and if you plan to get it. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and as always, happy gaming!